So as you're probably starting to realize, there's a relationship between mechanical stimulation of the follicle and blood flow, both of which turn out to be critical for maintaining hair and for stimulating hair growth. Ooh, hello guys. Look what I got. This little new toy. We all know what it is. It's the grow band. It's kind of controversial. I've been watching videos from other hair influencers on YouTube, such as Matt Dominance and David Demuzio, who absolutely roast this thing. But I'm here to give you a different perspective because I'm all about natural hair care and natural hair growth. And I like this because this is a form of mechano therapy or a natural exercise based way to grow your hair and as you can see it's pretty easy to put on just like this adjust the strap power on and then you just hit play I've only been using the grow band for about two weeks and it's uh, really straightforward it's hands-free you can do it anywhere 15 minutes a day you just push the play button but you know what i want to dive into the evidence first and as i am a natural based hair care specialist i don't use finasteride i don't use medoxidil i use mechanotherapy i use herbal treatments i use stem cells let's jump into the evidence there has actually been two studies on mechanotherapy for hair growth. One by a group of four Japanese scientists where they use scalp massage device over 24 weeks. And the results are they saw an increase of hair thickness for the massage group. And for the non-massage group, very little change. So there was a significant increase in hair thickness for the mas massage group over 24 weeks. There was also an increase in growth rate for the massage group. This study was done in 2016. And my favorite study, which was done a little bit longer ago uh, by Dr. Choi from Hong Kong. He, over 150 days, he had a control group of balding men and uh, thinning hair females. He studied the impact of scalp massage. Instead of using a device, they use a handheld instrument to penetrate the scalp. Their argument was that balding, a big cause of a thickened scalp. Often we call it scalp fibrosis. So the scalp skin gets very thick and that constricts the blood flow to the hair follicle and starves the hair of oxygen and of nutrients. So this is also a targeted mechanotherapy study where they use this massage device to decrease the thickness of the scalp, make it thinner so the blood could nourish the follicles once again um, to make it softer so it's a more healthy environment for the scalp and the results were the hair thickness, they would uh, bundle up a group of hairs and measure the hair thickness. Hair thickness increased in the group that did 150 days of massage and the thickness of the scalp skin decreased. So I fully agree with all these studies of mechanotherapy. The grow band is a form of mechanotherapy. It's contracting and relaxing the scalp, hands-free, uh, increasing circulation. It's natural. There's no pills, there's no pharmaceuticals. I also am a proponent of using my hands. I do this all the time with my finger. And as a matter of fact, I've made an indent in my forehead just from massaging my forehead with my finger. If I run my finger across my forehead, Boom, there's an indent, there's a hole. I've made a hole. That just goes to show that my forehead has thickened more than a healthy amount. It has fibrosis. So massaging my forehead with my finger, I also massage the corners and I also massage the top. It reduces the scalp 
skin thickness and it reduces fibrosis and it brings back nourishment and it brings back blood circulation to the scalp. The Groban is also a form of mechanotherapy. It utilizes this process to increase the blood circulation. So I am all for it. Massaging of the scalp is really designed to increase blood flow to the scalp. In order to relieve tension of the scalp, it's decreasing the squinting, if you will, or the tensile nature of the scalp skin so that more blood flow can arrive at that stem cell follicle area. Is this the end all be all for hair loss? Is it a full hair cure? No, I don't think so. Does finasteride and minoxidil help in recovering your hair? Yes, I think so. I think dutasteride, finasteride is actually very effective at recovering your hair and minoxidil is also a very strong stimulant for your hair. Personally, having tried these substances, these medications, I had very bad side effects. I had anxiety, I had reduced libido, my confidence was lowered. I didn't feel comfortable walking around in my daily life. And minoxidil, I tried. Nanoxidil, I also tried from DS Laboratories and they create a very itchy scalp. I had uh, heart effects. I am, I think, a very sensitive responder to drugs in general. So if you are like me and you cannot tolerate finasteride or minoxidil or whichever, then try mechanotherapy. It's natural. You can massage your head anytime you want during sleep. You can use this device 15 minutes a day. It's a one-time purchase. It's sold out right now on the Hairgar website. That's a good indicator. Also, yes, promoting this product, you can check it from the link. And the reason I'm promoting it is because I'm a fan of mechanotherapy, of natural physical-based stimulation for the scalp. Our bodies are plastic, they're moldable, and you can use exercise stimulation to change the structure of your scalp environment. And this is a perfect way to do it. Again, I'm not saying that finasteride and dutasteride don't work, minoxidil doesn't work, and if you want to take it and you can tolerate it, okay. For me, I don't wanna get anywhere near my natural DHT levels Finasteride, one milligram, it's been proven, can suppress DHT serum levels by 70%. That is the male sex hormone. I do not want to mess with my male sex hormone. Respectfully. Mechanotherapy. I think you should try it. Best of luck.